Minutemen, what are you guys doing? We've Make got trouble. Do we? Uh, Protect the Minutemen! They're being attacked by Valeria uh, ridden insects! I leveled! Liberty. Why are you so excited about that? Because that means I can finally build my suppressed MP5! Alright, so the MP5 is there. Why'd you put the MP5 away if you're gonna use the MP5? Oh, because that's the normal MP5. Oh, that's the Mutant Slayer's MP5. I still have my integrally suppressed MP5. Why don't you take all the stuff on that MP5 and put it on the Mutant Slayer MP5? Uh... Operation Nimrod. Why? Operation Nimrod was the name of the SAS operation to retake the Iranian embassy mm -hmm. in London. Okay. Um, and it was actually one of the first times that uh, anybody really saw the, M the MP5 being used by a special operations group. Also, one of the first times that anybody really saw a special operations group do anything. Normally, the fact that they operate in secret is what makes them special. It helped that it was on television. Obviously, it makes but it's, sense. But it's uh, kind of the event that brought the MP5 into the the public zeitgeist, nice. if you will. Ooh, zeitgeist, nice. Yeah. Let's rock! What the hell was that? Well, that's a oh. <laughs> <laughs> you there. Caravan or raider? What, what if we are raiders? What are you going to do? All right, the market's open if you need it. Just remember, the protection we pay your bosses is worth three times your life. Leave people alone. We're, we're not actually... Oh, whatever. She doesn't seem to care. Hmm. Big fortifications. This place looks safe. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, Bunker Hill. This is... Welcome to Bunker Hill, Mike. Okay. Hope you like listening to whiny caravan guards. The place is full of them. I can't believe that monument still stands. After all these years. That that mully man? Said, I can't believe the wool man is still there too. Uh, she said monument. You're not with my caravan, so don't bother me. Fine, I won't bother you. You there. We need to have a conversation. Oh, we do? I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. We don't mind danger as long as we get paid. You'll get paid the starting rate, like everybody else. Well, who's starting rate? If you turn out to be as useful as you claim, then we can talk about a raise. I never even claimed to be useful. I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. Wait a minute. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Didn't we work for a Jack Cabot when we were living in Vegas? Hmm. Must be his brother. I've been coming here since I was a baby. Legend has it, I took my first steps in the market. You have plenty of room, Heather. No one else is here. Yeah, there's not a single other person in this market right now. Let's see what's all the way up here. I thought that was the air raid siren yeah, for a second. Yeah, I thought so too. Ooh. Live in love, beware the manhandler. Climbing all these stairs is worth it. Hello. Huh, I haven't seen you before. If you need a doctor, let's get you examined. Are you familiar with every patron that comes across? Are you a doctor? Veterinarian, actually. But don't give me that look. Bones get set the same way whether you got two or four of them. <laughs> so let's talk about you and what kind of help you need. We're a human, so use more staples. Hi, how's it going? Hey. You, talk some sense into my numbskull son. Getting involved with the railroad is just trouble. Uh, what's the railroad? The Freedom Fighters, willing to risk their lives for synths. And that means they fight the Institute. Only ones that do. What? You think that's noble or some bullshit? That just makes them idiots. No son of mine is going to throw his life away with those lunatics. Uh, we're gonna stay out of this one. Yeah, I don't want to have anything to do with this. We got a good life here, and you'd throw it all away. All I do here is help crusty old caravan hands, no offense, go blind off rock gut. At least the railroad's fighting the Institute. And why not save sense? Might as well go off and join the Deathclaw Preservation Society. Um, uh, I wouldn't mind getting some service. I'd like a- I'd like a drink. 
You know, so far, Bunker Hill's been kind of a letdown. Hey, who are you? Hey, what's up? I don't know, the sky, chickens when they're motivated. You look suspiciously inconspicuous. I knew a caravan guard named Harry when I was a kid. His caravan got attacked by raiders, and they cut off his ear. His ear! Lucky it wasn't his nose. It... Why would they cut his ear off? Hey, aren't you that settlement guy? And by that, I mean you recruit people for settlements, not that people live inside you. That would make you a cannibal, <laughs> and I've met enough of those for one lifetime. Point is, I was thinking you could recruit me. <laughs> sure, why not? Great, so where is this settlement? And don't point to your belly, the joke is already over. Go to Red Rocket. Okay, bye! Caravans ain't exactly the get-to-know-you type. Less heartache that way. Nope, man, this place is frickin' dead. Load a little heavy there? I'll buy anything you don't need, and sell everything you do. So, this your store? Uh, yep, yeah, you got it. Caravans come through here. I buy whatever they don't want, fix it up, and sell the good stuff to the next caravan. But hey, no reason I can't sell to a drifter like you. Caps are caps. What are your thoughts on this place? Well, it's nice enough. Grew up with the caravans, so I feel right at home here. Don't like how we have to pay Raiders protection money, but that's the cost of doing business in the middle of everywhere. Speaking of which, I got a lot of useful supplies here that need a home. Look at them. So lonely. Do you have any paying work? Mercenary? Hunting down raiders? Apparently, the Northern Road goes straight through an old military training yard that's just crawling with a horde of feral ghouls. And that's cutting into my bottom line. So you take care of that, and maybe I can throw a few caps your way. Ghouls are dangerous! We're not doing that for just any money! Everyone comes into the hill thinking they can pull one over on me. I'm thinking 150 caps is more than fair. Take it or leave it. Add a discount on your wares? I'll take it! She's not gonna give us a discount on our wares. You don't know that! I'm, I know that. Quests. Wait, didn't we already, we already clear the training yard? Oh, I guess there's probably one enemy we gotta go kill then. Oh, probably. So apparently this is where we needed to go. We forgot to kill a guy in the bus. Or a gal in a bus, whatever this thing is. Yup, that's it. That's all we had to do. Also a turret, apparently. Oh, look at you, little bitch face. Good lord. <laughs> Finally, someone that can get things done. Here's your pay. You know, Kessler's been looking for someone competent. If you're looking Ooh. for more work, talk with her. Before you go, though, I was hoping you could spend some of that reward here with little old me. Do you have anything new? Same old, same old. Take a look for yourself. Then no, I'm not interested. <sighs> Are you Kessler? Hey again. Working on a slogan for this surgery. I'm thinking, the doctor is in, pain is out. Eh, uh, that might be false advertising. It also is confusing, because people will hear the doctor is in pain and, and wonder what's going on. Yeah, people can't see commas. So Deb's been talking you up. Says you get results. I got a sensitive job that needs someone with skill. That sound like you? No, but give it to us anyway! Uh... Our town works because everyone knows we got the raider angle covered. The gangs get paid off and leave our caravans alone. But Zeller's army is getting greedy, asking for more caps. And after Ooh. we pay them, the bastards still hit our people. But I found out the army's holed up in an old prep school. The job's simple. Deal with them. What else do you know about Zeller's army? Judge Zeller runs a strange outfit. Came out of nowhere, and now they're players. I don't know what you'll find there. Consider their army dealt with. If there are survivors, rescue them. If any lost caravan hands make their way back into circulation, that'll do wonders for trade. But above all, you're just a freelancer working for yourself. Never even heard of us on the hill, right? I don't know what you're talking about. I never heard of any of you. Tag, you're it! <laughs> <laughs> What is that noise? Ah! Hey, we fast traveled right in the ghouls. <laughs> Look, it's an albino one. Where there's a crater, there's ferals or crazy atom lovers. Can't think of anyone else that could stand it. Oh, aliens, maybe. 
All right, we're going in at nighttime to increase our sneakiness. Ah, and the silencer on your gun will help us. Yes. Why is this a stealth mission? Oh, because uh, we're rescuing hostages. That's why I had to bring Operation Nimrod. Where are we sneaking into, anyway? East Boston Preparatory School. <laughs> oh, the best way to get inside of a preparatory school? Uh, get good grades, I suppose? Through the crashed airplane? <laughs> Secret back door, secret back door, through the secret back door, secret, 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 secret back door, back door. Oh, well, now I can't see anything, and turning on my light is just going to alert them. It's okay. The moment Heather sees anything, she'll make a loud scream and light them up. No, that's not what we want. I hate it when they beg. It's just you or me. Nothing personal. Keep it down. I hear someone coming. Yeah, <laughs> the next one dies clean. Hey, get into position. Very quiet around here. Shh. Almost too oh. quiet. Great, thanks, Darlie. I think I hear a guard roach. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant. Punched a red roach in the face. It'd be a lot easier to sneak if you guys would stop stomping. Darling's the one who brought the high heels. Never mind, that's someone upstairs. Heard about Walter? Him and his whole crew got expired over at Walden. Rumor is one guy took out the whole place, but that's gotta be bull. Mm. Well, at least something's going our way. Well, if someone's wiping out gangs, we all need to stay sharp. Bye bye, fuck ass. Shh. Darling, shut the fuck up! I don't know why Kessler keeps paying raiders to leave the caravans alone. <laughs> it's doomed to fail. Sending you out to kill them makes way more sense. That's why we're doing it. Shut the fuck up! Kind of surprising we haven't encountered any of the actual raiders. I know, it's ridiculous! <laughs> Are they all relaxing in their bedrooms? I guess so. Because they'll be like, what was that noise? Combat positions, and then they won't fucking move. <laughs> I must have a concussion. I'm fucking seeing things. <laughs> I also have a concussion. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Who's it? Oh, you hear that? Something's up. Out of a hey, oh. Listen, I heard something. You shot through all the tin chimes, Zach. That's gonna give away our position. Blood contract? You guys got me stirred up over nothing. I love how this is. A combination of everybody, everybody, just going, shut the fuck up! <laughs> what the fuck Aaron was that noise? Shut up! <laughs> Nothing. There you are, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just died. Or the game broke. Yeah, it looks like the game crashed after you exploded. <laughs> oh, good. Listen, there's something in my... Oh, no, you definitely don't. <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> hey, Heather. <laughs> oh, so you want to play with me? No. Okay, yeah, looks like yeah, we're going in yeah. guns and blazes. Yup. Stealth thing as always. Stealth mission's over. Same as it ever was. Oh, you yeah. oh, <laughs> can't even see you. Oh, jeez. See, that's, that's the one that's... Oh, <laughs> and I'm injured. Why is that one ten times much... <laughs> Ah, there she is. Why do they always gotta fight back? I don't know. Why do you always gotta be a raider? What is blood contract? Is it explain why they're so bullet spongy? I don't know, let's see. Uh, with my blood, I do swear my life to the judge and his jury until the end upon pain, torture, and death. Well, that doesn't help us. All right, so they're crazy. Third floor, stealth mode, engage. Damn it! That's not quite stealth mode. Stealth mode. All right. It's going to be a blood bass. Oh, he had a FAMAS too. He's unstoppable. Ow, ow. All right. Handled. That was one evil son of a bitch. You did good. Was he? He did take a bunch of caravaneers hostage. 
And he oh. and he made all these little raiders swear blood contracts to him. Hmm. Rise oh. of the something. You got some stronger right away now. Yay! C'est quoi une BD? Excellent, tu me la prêteras? J'aime bien lire avant de dormir. I don't know what that means. She was happy you found a BD. I, but I didn't find a BD. No, you found a BD. No, I didn't find a BD. I found a magazine. Not a BD, a BD. Oh my God, that's the same word. You're just saying the same word. Uh, recruit fish face. Beat him until his face swelled up and he couldn't eat. Let him heal and then beat him again. After a couple rounds of this, he got skinny quick. When we pulled him out for the last round, he told us he'd do anything if we just stopped. We made him sign the blood contract and put him immediately on the initiation crew. Uh huh. Guy didn't flinch from the usual stuff, not even tooth removal. Ugh. Wanted to keep his eyes in his hands, so we signed the blood contract. Ouch. He kept pleading with us to kill him. Didn't understand why we didn't just do what all the other gangs did. Starvation and regular beatings freaked him out, but the threat of death by rats broke him. All right, yeah. So this guy's this guy's fucked up. Hey, maybe we should rescue these folks over here. Hello. Kessler send you. Thank God. Yup. I couldn't take much more of it. Thank you. You look identical to the man over there. I'll tell Kessler what you've done for us. I'll unlock the gate first. Looks like someone or something had a lot of fun in here. It was us. We killed them all. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> you almost gunned down the guy we rescued. <laughs> Isn't Bunker Hill a show that was on Adult Swim for six episodes? I think you're thinking of Mission Hill. Yes, that's... And that was a very good show. One of the prisoners told me what they went through at the prep school. I had no idea. And you did that by yourself, right? Oh, here's the payout. Yeah, I definitely didn't do it with three other people. Oh, by the way, has he mentioned he's a general with the Minutemen? The Minutemen abandoned our sorry asses long ago. A lot of people's kin died because of that. Listen, you did us a good turn, but it would take a hell of a lot more for me to want to deal with the Minutemen. But the Minuteman is under new management. This guy right here. No, stop. You can trust stop. us. Stop. Really, that's almost tempting. But except for the occasional hiccup, we're looking out for ourselves just fine. Pass. Thank God. It was worth a try. What did the prisoners say? Judge Zeller was snatching people and brainwashing them like some damn cult. No wonder their numbers exploded. Oh, okay, stuff is happening. Like, speaking of explosions. Yeah. You ever see one of our caravans on the road? We're about to see one explode. No choice. Hey, keep it down out here. We're trying to turn in a quest. What's going on? Nothing? Cool, thanks for wasting our time. Hey, the fuck are you guys doing? What'd you guys kill? Well, all right. Good, uh, good job patrolling. Kessler was like, oh, Minutemen ain't looking out for us. Meanwhile, murdering the raiders, as we were saying. I'm happy you're on our side. With your help, the roads are a lot safer. You're welcome back to the hill anytime. That was exhausting, wasn't it? Zach, I'm still sad we didn't find any cards. Like, there's like 300 cards out there. Uh, I know, we haven't found a single one yet. Well, oh. I'll tell you what. Oh. We found two postcards and two Western cards, and that's it. I always get so excited when I find duct tape, you know, or Wonder Glue. If you don't use it, you can always trade it. Everybody needs adhesive. We need adhesive. Zach used the last of our adhesive, putting a dumb suppressor on his dumb gun. And then missing me with his current gun. <laughs> it worth it. Also, a pro tip for this game, if you're playing and you don't know why your, like, equipment load is always really high, try dropping off all the mods you have in your inventory. Mm. I always forget to do that, and then I'm like, why do I have, like, 200 pounds of gear on me? Oh, it's because my backpack is filled with scopes and handguards. <laughs>